Our teaching methods are not what they used to be. I started my teaching career with a blackboard to write on, a cassette deck and CD player and one computer in the office building which everyone shared. Now many teachers have computers and data projectors or interactive whiteboards in their classrooms. They play music files on a device and have a personal or school owned computer, a laptop or even an iPad. Up until now, gathering work samples for assessment has been done in the form of paper portfolios and observational notes made by the teacher during class performances. But this has its limits. The music teacher is limited to collecting and presenting to parents only work samples that are in a paper form, such as written notation, worksheets or assessment rubrics. What if we could collect and share with parents evidence of students' composition off the paper. My school is an international baccalaureate school. In an IB school, at the end of their primary years, the students present an exhibition of their learning journey to the school community in the form of an interactive display with work samples for parents to view. The 6-7 teacher asked me to present part of this learning journey through the students writing and performing their own song. The problem was, how do I present this learning without parents sitting through a one hour performance? My school had recently introduced one to one iPads through grades four to seven. Maybe this was my solution. And my question was, is there a way we can present the students recording on an iPad? Well, apps on an iPad work in a similar way to software programs on our computers. I knew that in PowerPoint and Keynote, you could attach a sound file to play as you sang the lyrics on each slide. So was there an app which did this on an iPad? But what I found was an app called Explain Everything that actually went one step better than this. In Explain Everything, not only could you insert a music file but you can insert a recording directly from GarageBand, play the music track with features such as stop, rewind, or even looping, and then insert the lyrics by typing in a text box or even insert a Word or a Pages document. So with my students, we set about arranging and recording their entire song in GarageBand. We inserted it into Explain Everything and then inserted a screenshot and the students put their lyrics in, in the form of a pages document so that the parents could read along as they listened to the recording. The students placed their iPad on their exhibition stool and the parents viewed and listened to the songs as they went to each stool. From this one solution, I came to the realization that the work I collect in paper portfolios can now be presented in a digital way. I can also gather and present audio and video recordings of the students' work off the paper. And best of all, this is all in one spot. I also realised that not only can I observe and assess my students' performances in class, but I can also review that performance at the end of the day and again at the end of the semester and year for report writing. As we step through this workshop video, I will teach you to use the apps on your iPad to the advantage of your students, their parents, and of course yourself. We will look at the apps Explain Everything, Book Creator, Dropbox, and Google Drive, creating and sharing files and templates using QR codes, learning along the way what the advantages and disadvantages are when using each app. So let me help you transform the way that you collate and share your students' work samples through this digital portfolios workshop.